It's I who have been dead to you. Not just for what you've done for my family, but for abundance. Who deserves better than this tyrant? Short. I don't know much about it. Looks like a hidden gem, sorta. Huzzah, my boy! I was informed just now. Not that short, I'm on like our one four in total. It just takes time to grow on you. Scott, out with it. Oh yes, yeah, <clears throat> yes, I was told that an elder assembly member wanted to talk to you at the curiosities about the people's discontent. Was it people's disco? I, either way, he wanted your opinion. One four as decent here. Is Victor is in hot water. And you just need to make it boil. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Sorry we had to meet here. The source must have been difficult to get to. But I'm pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Yeah, this isn't exactly homey. What can I do for you? I've been informed about Colonel Victor's less wholesome activities and your role in revealing them. With the Assembly in uproar, my group is trying to pick a stance amidst the chaos. Colonel Victor's scandals and his... Methods have shocked the members of the congregation and the common people. Continuing support of the colonel is political suicide. The trust between the people and their leaders must be restored for the good of abundance. You may be young, but you are wise. Victor is in yeah. a precarious position, and if his head is on a stake, his allies will join him. Better to jump ship before the crash. I, for one, have never approved of his methods, but the results have always been effective. The winds are changing, momentum is shifting, and we must show our objection to his brutality. Corruption is rampant in every level of our corporation, but who can say no to Serum? Are you trying to bribe me? Just a gift, to help us come to a mutual understanding. Why the nerve? You deface the colonel for it, and then follow up with your own performance. I find hypocrites more despicable than the on. Look around you. Do you see the people? They're scared, angry. Victor's incessant intrusion has violated the privacy of their lives, their relationships. They no longer feel free. All this whistleblowing has shattered our sense of community. No one trusts each other, and vendettas and misunderstandings alike send innocents to be imprisoned, tortured, or killed at the ASC's whim. Colonel Victor won't stop until he pushes the people of abundance to flee or fight to the brink of revolution. You're painting a very dark picture here. What you're saying could happen, I agree. Victor's playing with fire, and the flames grow with each passing day. We could lose everybody, our workers, our scientists, our soldiers, and they will be turned into our worst enemy. Our army's ranks are spread thin and filled with the colonel's lackeys. If he wanted to seize power, declare martial law, Abundance wouldn't have the strength to repel him. And his unjustified arrests of our master technomancers forced them to flee, adding to our enemy's advantage in skilled forces. Many of our soldiers have deserted, some unwilling to participate in Victor's madness, others turned mad by his combat drugs. We must stop Victor before it's too late. Oh my. I did not realize Victor had taken things so far. This is grave news. You're right. We need to curtail the bleeding, so we can give our army a chance to rebuild. 
I remember a time when abundance was the crown jewel of Mars, the epitome of the best of doctors, technicians, scientists. But today, these bright minds are, oh, the horror, a travesty that Zachariah neglected to tell you about, the vilest scandal of all. My colleagues who don't run away are put away into re-education camps, giant brainwashing centers. This spiteful man you call Colonel is persecuting our best. Really? This is the first I've ever... If this is true, this is indeed a problem. Without our scientists, we'll soon lose our advantages over our rivals. Listen, man. I'm the poster girl of abundance. This city, it's my home. So when I see what this piece of shit, human garbage, Colonel Motherfucker has done to it, it makes me pretty pissed off. We can't let this continue! I think I now understand why we didn't include a caption with the photo. You are quite persuasive. You have convinced me. I will go and try to do the same to my peers. Of course, even with unanimous focus and direction, it will take months to regain the trust of our people and rebuild the strength of our army. But most urgently, we must remove the man who started it all. An extraordinary meeting will take place in a few hours, and I have no doubt that it will end with good news. No mercy for traitors! Treacherous scum! Two-faced bastard! Cut out his tongue! Bumble and fool! Throw him in with the music! Hey, good looking.
Huh? <laughs> 